So, when you're diagramming complex sentences, um, you're still showing whether one sentence or one clause is less important than the other. We saw just a moment ago how sometimes the dependent word can be part of the dependent clause. Um, in that last example, you saw that that was being used as a direct object. Sometimes it can be used as some other part of the sentence, such as the noun. For example, Oliver brushed away two or three tears that were lingering in his eyes. So, once again, we'll start with our basic framework for the main sentence, which is Oliver brushed away two or three tears. So we have Oliver brushed And then away is an adverb that modifies brushed. And then we have our direct object, which is tears, which is modified by two or three. And so now this is our main sentence. And then we see that um, our dependent clause is that we're lingering in his eyes, which modifies tears. It acts as an adverb. It's telling which tears. It's the tears that were lingering in his eyes. So we have then our second clause. Which is that were lingering in his eyes. And the way we show this is connected is we draw a diagonal line. And I should have made this further over because the diagonal line is supposed to come at the beginning of that. But we have this diagonal line connecting to the word that that shows our dependent clause is modifying tears. Or we might have. While Oliver worked, he was very tired. This one is going to use a dependent word, while, that's, that's going to be uh, for this dependent clause in the beginning of the sentence. So what you have to do, sometimes your dependent clause comes before your main clause. And so you have to hunt first for your main clause, which is the one that doesn't have dependent words in it. In this case, it's he was very tired. So That's our main clause. And then we have our dependent clause, which is going to be, again, it's below, even though it comes before it in the sentence. So we have our subject and verb in this one. This one's very simple. It's just Oliver worked. And while is not part of this clause, but it is the thing that connects it. And so in this case, we have our diagonal line, and we're going to connect the diagonal line to was, because the verb is the core of the sentence, and also because we know when we have something that answers a question when, it's an adverb type of thing. So it connects to was. And because it's not part of the sentence, but it is the connection, we put while right there to show how things connect to each other.